morning guys it is Jonathan with one big impact so let's take a seat hopefully that's not a weird angle I'm actually more concerned with getting my Christmas tree inside the picture the video rather than myself but I guess now that I think about it that might be kind of a weird angle so we're gonna come down just a little bit and talk for a few minutes today's video is actually going to be our carbohydrates bad okay so uh, within the fitness industry, you hear a lot of different things. You hear that carbohydrates are bad. You hear that carbohydrates are not the enemy. You hear that carbohydrates are the devil. Carbohydrates are essential. You feel you people that say that they're not essential. So first of all, to clear a few things up, um, are carbohydrates bad? No, that's the easy answer. Um, the second one is, are carbohydrates the devil? No, <laughs> that's the easy answer. Um, the next one, are carbohydrates essential? No, um, they're not. And uh, anything else that I can clear up right away? Um, okay, so first of all, I would like to say carbohydrates are not bad misuse of carbohydrates is a flawed process it does not matter what carbohydrate you are using if you are using the carbohydrate in an inappropriate manner you are going to store glucose and put yourself in a prime position to get overweight okay it doesn't matter if you're competing in a powerlifting event or anything if you eat too many carbohydrates, lately is where I've been, um, you will put on body fat. And that's just the way it is because if you are not able to burn off that glucose, AKA carbohydrates, then unfortunately it's going to get stored as excess body fat. And that's currently where I'm at. And I know this because I've done it with myself, I've done it with clients, and I understand exactly the purpose and exactly what it does to you. Okay, so first of all, as you guys know, I went through a process where I lost 150 pounds. I'm still sitting at 100 pounds lost. Um, I'm heavier in my weight right now, and it's because I'm learning no more things about nutrition and kind of using my own self as like a test dummy for whether it's bodybuilding or strength training or um, last year I was running and different things because the more I learn, the more I can teach you. Now, what works for me does not necessarily mean it's going to work for you. You have to keep that in mind. Now, good complex carbohydrates are going to be things like rice, potatoes, um, pastas, uh, different things like that. Now, these carbohydrates can be used to shuttle protein to your muscle cells and everything, all kinds of great things. They can be used for uh, recovering your glucose after a heavy workout. They can be used for fueling a workout. Um, they can be used for lots of things. But the, the, the thing is with carbohydrates is the key term use. What are you using them for? So there's an obvious difference for a lot of people that, well, a lot of people don't know this. There's a difference between complex carbohydrates and uh, bad carbohydrates, simple carbohydrates. So you have complex and you have simple. Simple carbohydrates are things like donuts, candy bars, uh, soda, things that act fast and they really get stored as fat right away or used as energy. Now, technically you could, <laughs> you could drink a soda and get through a workout and it would help fuel your workout. The problem is if you have an addiction to soda and you're drinking five a day, that's probably not going to be the optimal. It's also not going to be an optimal thing for drinking a soda versus something like eating a banana or a potato before a workout. There's going to be long sustained energy or a complete fast spike. For the simple versus, uh, it's gonna be a spike and the complex is gonna be a slow steady state energy that can get you through an hour or two hours worth of working out. And the, the simple might be gone in 15 to 30 minutes, so you're not gonna have much left after that, other than maybe an addiction to sweets or something like that. Now, understanding the basics, complex versus simple carbohydrates is the very beginning, okay? Other than that, you have to understand the when, when people in the fitness industry say things like carbohydrates are not the enemy, 
99.9% of those people don't understand having a weight issue. 99.9% .9 of those people don't understand that most people don't understand macronutrient breakdown. And they probably don't even understand macros or the correct macros for their body or whatever, okay? So now, in addition to that, they have not had a weight problem, okay? If you haven't been 50 pounds overweight or 100 pounds overweight, maybe you don't really understand exactly what carbohydrates means. It doesn't mean that you're constantly walking around eating donuts, but it might be pizza or it might be pasta or it might be just a little bit of mashed potatoes with your dinner right before you go to bed and you just have a sedentary lifestyle and you really don't find yourself in a prime position to be burning it off on a regular basis. That adding up over time, a 500 caloric surplus every day, 12 pounds a year times 10 years, you know, let's do the math. You're 100 pounds overweight and you're like, holy crap, I don't know what to do, okay? So maybe not everybody's bodies work like that, but that's an extreme version and that's very similar to what a lot of us do. Okay, so you gained weight overnight, you're not gonna lose weight overnight. And to be able to sustain and learn the process of what good carbs is versus bad carbs, nutrient timing and understanding all these things, a lot of fitness professionals don't realize what the process is like going through the reverse idea of this, okay? So a lot of people start out with a lean body, a lot of fitness professionals will start out with a lean body, and they will understand to pack on muscle, to bulk up, I gotta go on a slight caloric surplus, and I put myself in a prime position to be able to get stronger, and then I can lean out by bringing it down, pulling my carbs away, and things like that, okay? But the problem is, they're not coming from the reverse a lot of the times. And I'm not saying that everybody, okay? Some, some of the people that are watching this are probably coming from the other side, and that's perfectly fine, and that's awesome. But coming from an unhealthy version, you are going the opposite way, and you see a different perspective. It's kind of like, have you ever gone on a road trip for eight hours in one direction, and then you come back and nothing looks the same, and you're like, is this the same way? And then one thing triggers, you go, oh, okay, yeah, all right, that makes sense. That's like coming across the simple carbohydrate information along your way, but they are coming this way. So you're, t you're on two different paths. So a lot of the times they don't meet, but every once in a while you'll kind of get a little bit of a drift of information along the way. So are carbohydrates bad? Absolutely not. Is the misuse of carbohydrates bad? Absolutely, yes. There are essential proteins, there are essential carbohydrates, but they're not essential, uh, or, or, I'm sorry, essential proteins and essential fats, but there are not essential carbohydrates. Ah, my alarm's going off, hold on. The thing that you have to realize is even when somebody is doing bodybuilding or they're doing a recomposition of their body and they're putting themselves in a position to where they want to either gain more muscle or lose more fat, the one thing that is almost indefinitely manipulated first is going to be carbohydrates. So this tells you that this is a item in which you can fluctuate. Now I will say there's an inverse relationship. Usually when the carbs come down, the fats go up. Now you have to think about this, like everybody has a little bit of a biased opinion in the fitness industry. Carbs are good for you, blah, 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 blah. Yes, okay, I get that. But what, what, what a lot of people don't understand is you will see that inverse relationship. Right before somebody steps on stage, they're probably eating hardly any carbohydrates in the leanest shape of their lives. So that is a manipulatable thing. Also, your protein will go up to keep you full and to help sustain the muscle mass and everything like that. But the important thing that you have to remember is a lot of people, even if they agree with what we say or what we do or whatever, will manipulate carbohydrates and bring the fat up. So they'll use that fat as an energy fuel source. It doesn't matter where you go in the world, you can see some amazing physiques that will adapt to whether it's high fat or high carbohydrate or low carbohydrate or high carbohydrate. Like you always have one or the other that is higher. A lot of the places, I, I think a lot of the biggest problems with the carbohydrates that we consume now, for instance, I have bananas right there on the counter, right? Those bananas are probably not going to be in season. They sure in the hell are not in season in Arizona. So a lot of the indigenous people in these places where they have these natural diets and stuff like that, one's high fat, one's high carb, blah, 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 
These are because these are the things that are available in their regions. In America, we have everything available all the time. It doesn't really matter. We don't even give a damn if we have to pay an extra dollar for asparagus. And even if we do, we might complain, but we'll still do it. But meanwhile, asparagus is not something that's going to be indigenous to our area that's going to be available that time of year. So the problem a lot of the times is being a little bit more mindful of the things that you should be eating, I guess, in the seasons. But more importantly, maybe you shouldn't be eating fruits and snacks all the time, 24 seven. Most people in everywhere will have not so much of an issue if they don't have a weight issue and stuff like that. They really don't tend to overeat. They don't really go for carbs that much. And if they do, maybe they don't eat a whole pizza or whatever. So carbs are not the enemy. Understanding how to manipulate them, how many you need, how much, how often you need them, and if you have an unhealthy relationship with carbohydrates. Here's the thing. I have been the type of person, if I get a banana, it is really hard for me to stop wanting to spike my energy back up two hours from now and get donuts. Like it's really a very difficult thing for me. A lot of people don't understand that. A lot of people don't understand having one donut. Like I know people every day, all day in the fitness industry there, where I train, there's 60 people and they have cookies or candy on the place, donuts all the place over the time. What they don't realize is a lot of the times people with weight issues can't just walk up and have a donut. It's 12 deep and then they've completely thrown away everything. So understanding that if something like a low carbohydrate diet works good for you, then that's great. That is absolutely beautiful. Understanding if a high, a high carbohydrate, low fat diet works for somebody else, that's great. There's nothing wrong with that. But understanding that each and every single person is gonna respond a little bit differently. Here's the thing. My thing is if low carbohydrate diets work for you, using fat as your primary fuel source, then that is great because here's the deal, okay? Here's the deal. If I'm eating carbohydrates right now and say I have like white bread after my workout and I have bananas and then when I wake up I have oatmeal and that's currently what I'm eating right now. I struggle substantially saying no to those other foods because of the fact that I'm actually entering into the realm of the carbohydrates. So it's something I'm learning, but understand that with me, my thing is, what can you adhere to? So if you're eating carbohydrates and you're finding yourself eating Pop-Tarts in the middle of the night, but then you go low carbohydrate and you know there's absolutely nothing that should cross your mouth that has a bunch of carbohydrates besides good quality six or seven cups of vegetables a day, then that's what works great for you. If something you do can be adhered to, that's gonna be a hell of a lot more beneficial for you than something that you can kind of do halfway, but you send yourself into spiraling in the middle of the night or in the late afternoon or even in the morning or whatever. The idea is carbohydrates are not necessarily bad. You just have to understand the whole idea of them. If you find yourself in a position to where you eat five cups of rice and then you go eat a pack of donuts, then it's probably going to be good for you to do something like an exclusion diet, like Atkins or keto or something like that, because it puts you in a better position not to be consuming those things all the time. I hope this information helped you guys. If you're new here, please check us out on Facebook. Also, I'm a Keto Crate affiliate, so check out the link in the description below. Every time you purchase and use my code, One Big Impact, you actually, right now, currently, it's one crate, buy one crate, one get one crate free. And I think it's only like 29 bucks or something. It's super cheap. And I'll be getting one soon and I'll be doing an unboxing. If you're new here, like I said, check us out on Facebook. Our group is called Healthy Living for Healthy Life on Instagram at One Big Impact. I'm a personal trainer in person, online, nutritional coaching, and everything. Meal plans, take as you go, anything you want. You guys have a beautiful day and a Merry Christmas. Thank you to everybody that has been involved with Bikes for Boo. We're at nine bikes. We got one more bike to go and I'll show you exactly which one that we just got recently and I have the other eight in my room. And if you guys have any questions, like I said, please put them in the comment section below. I hope that cleared up a little bit of information. Carbs aren't bad. A lot of us just don't know how to use them. Have a good day.
That is the little bike. Have a good day, guys. Bye.